Hi everyone, this is Cece for another Donna Downey Studios Artist Gang video. I have to tell you that this video is sped up quite considerably because the whole project took me about two hours to make. So I'm working on a 16 by 20 canvas. This is a gallery wrapped canvas and the background will be composed of black and white jazz. So I'm going to be working wet on wet to create some nice gradient of these two non colors and the original idea was to have a dark background with some stenciling in bright bowl colors and then adding uh, 3d flowers over top of that and um, that didn't happen <laughs> you'll see in the next step as i'm taking the catalyst tool to add some more white uh, gesso it just, somehow buildings started appearing and there was no way I could stick to my original idea. This was already down and um, I had to go for it. So I'm just reshaping and what you're not seeing is me uh, grabbing the heat tool once in a while to dry a little bit and then using the catalyst tool to drag the gesso to create some interesting texture and to shape the buildings. Now, one thing that I regret uh, not knowing what I was doing from the beginning is um, working the sky and the water because the ground is not the ground, it's water. So had I known that it was going to be sky and water in advance, I would have taken more time to create some shadows and highlights without having the buildings in the way. And now you're going to see me going over the top of the buildings because there was no way I was uh, able to create a seamless sky without going over. And it's okay. I mean, I took the catalyst tool again and I reshaped the buildings, adding some as well. And um, that was a much better process. So far I've only been using black and white gesso and now I'm going to be adding some colors to create lights in the buildings. I have phthalo turquoise, teal, quinacridone magenta, diorolite yellow and fluorescent magenta. These are all golden paints. And I'm going to be using three stencils from Donna Downey Studios. The first one is the mini alphabet rerun. Then I'll be using numbers repetitive and grunge halftone dots and I'm using uh, two pieces of copy paper to mask the buildings that are adjacent to the area where I'm working in and I'm uh, using a makeup sponge to add the colors and I'm just going at it randomly and adding the colors as I go um, you're not going to see the whole process because otherwise this video would have been even longer but I've also taken good care in leaving some of the buildings untouched just so that the eyes could have a rest. Otherwise it would have been very, very busy. And here's what it looks like after I'm done the stenciling. Now there's a lot of color on there, so I'm gonna let that dry and I'll be working on the water and a bit on the sky at the same time. I have to tell you that I have worked on the water quite a bit to get it to where I wanted uh, it to look like. I also wanted to have a bit of color, a spot of white, not too much color because um, I'm going to be adding a quote on the water and I also considered putting in some of the lights reflected in the water but I felt that that would have taken away too much from the quote. So there's a fine line between too little and too much. So you're going to see me working at it uh, quite a bit. Um, the one thing I knew I wanted to add in the darker sections where it's mostly black, I wanted to work some of the thalo turquoise and the magenta in there. It gives a nice subtle color it's tough to discern on film or even on photos but in real life they are there like these two colors are very uh, present but in a very subtle way so i'm letting the water dry while i'm adding finally the shadows and the highlights with the catalyst tool so again it's black and white gesso nothing else and 
I have to tell you, I really love working with the straight edge catalyst tool. It fits very nicely in the palm of my hand and there are two sides to it. So there's a narrow side and a larger side. And as you can see, I was able to paint the buildings with it and then do the shadows and highlights. So when I have a tool that is so versatile, um, I use it. I love that. And of course with the shadows more than with the highlights, the buildings really come to life. It gives some nice depth to the whole thing. And that also helps push some of the buildings in, in the background. And that's a fun process for me. All right, so I'm adding more color and using a dry brush or an almost dry brush to work them in with some of the black gesso. I'm also going to be adding a big uh, blob of white because as you can see, there's quite a bit of white on the buildings. So I needed to reflect that in the water as well. The only thing that I'll be reflecting in the water are the antennas. And that was done on purpose. I needed some kind of vertical element uh, but in a subtle way so that it can be seen behind the quote, just so that the water has a little bit more visual interest. I'm also adding some final touches to the sky and I have to tell you, this was a rough thing to do because I have the buildings in the way, but I made it work. So uh, work to the wise. If you know what you're doing in advance, uh, do your background first, <laughs> not after. Okay, so time for the quote. I'm going to be adding it with light molding paste and the stencil is called Intention, again by Donna Downey Studios. And so this is the first coat. I ended up adding two coats of the paste just because I wanted it to really stand out. And by the way, I did not waste any paste. I'm, I know that I'm adding it on quite thickly, but um, I was able to scrape most of it and uh, put the put it back in the jar. So this is the second coat after the first one was dry. And it really, really helped. Like that thing stands out really well, um, except for the word live, but you'll see how I manage that later on. Here's what I mean by uh, scraping off the rest. As you can see, I'm able to uh, grab most of it, so no waste. All right, this is the black aquarellable Stabilo pencil. This is going to help me uh, bring out the word life to the foreground because it was kind of lost in a building. And this is a perfect example of why I didn't want to add the lights reflected in the water because the whole quote would have been lost. At least I only had to deal with the word live and uh, that was done with the, uh, the black pencil. It really stands out. Here's the final product. I'm very happy with this canvas. I did it totally as a treat to myself. I just want to take this opportunity to thank uh, Donna and Bill for uh, having me on this artist gang, the very first artist gang. It was quite an honor and I've had a lot of fun and I hope that you've enjoyed this project. Thank you so much for watching and I guess I will see, see you later. Bye.